Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick shout out before we get started here to a friend of ours, the Brothers Binge podcast. The Brothers Binge talk all things comics, TV, and movies. They give their points of view on current uh, entertainment news, stories, Uh, they end up arguing back and forth about their own thoughts on things uh so definitely check them out you can check out their first five episodes while you're waiting for episode six to come up you can find them on itunes soundcloud stitcher you you know how to find podcasts go find them it's the brothers binge you're listening to miscast commentary hey everybody welcome to miscast commentary coming attractions episode i am joe finley and i'm todd just tebow murray God damn it, we are back together for after the longest time. Oh my god, it's been months. It has been, I believe it was September the last was time something. we actually recorded it was, it together. We usually do the tears. We've been crying mascara oh. for about 20 minutes now. Yeah. We need every I ejaculate time, from my eyes. Every time, you too. <laughs> every time we get back together, I think of that Aerosmith tune, and we should get that somehow copywritten. What, Jane has got a gun? Exactly. <laughs> yep. Fucking good tune, eh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're back! I can't do it. I have like horrible bronchitis or something, so I can't. I can't do my my uh, Steven Tyler screeching at the top of his lungs. And I know everybody out there really misses that. It's the truth. Yeah. And what's the best part is the fact that we've switched who has bronchitis currently. Oh my god! So it's like nice. now it's going to be me coughing. So the, the one <laughs> consistency. Okay, no, two consistencies will remain. We don't know what we're doing, and <laughs> one of us is hacking the fuck out of our lungs. So more of the usual, I yeah, guess. Same old, right? But so it, it, with the old and with the nucleus. But yeah, we have nice, well done. But uh, we have been talking. Uh, I, oh, I've we're been talking because I've been here shit. by myself. I've been here by myself alone, just like well, rogue podcasting. Myself. But. There it was when I walked in, there was a 2D cardboard cutout of myself in this chair, literally covered in jizz. None of it Joe's. <laughs> I know. I thought I was going to have to explain like the uh, weird penis size hole in his mouth area, but it was the jizz that gave it all away. <laughs> um, and on, upon first taste, I knew that none of it was his. Ooh, can I um, just point out right off the bat, I'd like to apologize to everybody who thinks that uh, this is still a safe for work episode after listening to me and my daughter do a podcast <laughs> Oh, yours, you and your daughter was the raunchiest episode that has oh, ever perhaps. happened. Yeah, I've never heard a little girl say the C word so many times. But, She's uh, British. Yeah, she is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it Did was... Did pause or something? What happened there? No, it what, didn't what pause. It oh, was okay. just, um, it's just c- catching up to I itself. I didn't want anybody to miss out on all these jizz jokes. I hope not. <laughs> these j- it, may, it may well have happened. I don't know. We'll find out. This is why I edit them. But, um... Just to kind of take everybody through it again, I have talked about it before. Yeah, as uh, Todd was getting to uh, getting ready to hit the t- hit the sea, we were going to record a couple more episodes, and then I took very ill. I was in the hospital for a while. Uh, for a time, I had uh, you've been ill, bro. You were born ill. Oh yeah, no, but this was particularly. Oh, you're talking about a sickness. Yes. Oh, I, you were I about was sweet rhymes. I was hospitalized, and then I was just laid up in bed for the better part of two weeks. So uh, Todd, oh, had I was to, at sea. You left while I was sick, right? And you left me. Oh, yeah, you were in the hospital. Yeah. I was going to come see you and shit. Yeah, no, but I died. But then, instead. like, I, I had something to watch on TV. So, yeah. Like, no, it's fine. Oh, fuck it. Well, I was in the hospital for long. No, so you weren't. I asked. I, I did was, ask. Yes, I was in for the day. And yeah, then, okay. Because I but, was totally going to come and see you. Yeah, to tell you the good story. So I was having a really hard time with my throat. It was really sore. And I was spray, spraying that, like, chloroseptic stuff in there. Just trying Bleach. to, like, calm it down. Yes. It was probably bad. Enough. And um, then I was coughing at one point, And I'm like, something feels weird. And I went up and I went into the washroom and like blood was pouring out of my mouth. What? And I just woke up Carrie and I'm like, I think we need to go to the With hospital. With blood as you're talking to her, blood spitting out. Yeah. <laughs> so we called. So, Sounded like some underwater man. So we had to wake up the kids and bring them to my mom's house. Yeah, did like, you wake them up? Uh, two With your bloody mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's how I wake up my kids every day. <laughs> Time to go to school. <laughs> you got But uh, yeah, uh, and so, yeah, that was all that stuff. And then Todd returned, and we were ready to record. And then Todd got sick, or I Todd was, remained was sick. was sick, yeah. Yeah, so we had I'm to put that sick, off. still sick, but I said, you know, fuck it, I can't sit in there any longer. No, no doubt. I can't fucking do this. But we, uh, so we do apologize for Mentally. the few audibles we had to pull in the last couple ones, because I had to announce a movie, and then I'd have to swap it, and then. We didn't miss so, any, though, did we? No, we didn't miss any. I got stuff to air every week. Oh, good, just, okay, well, great. Some of yeah. it wasn't us, but whatever. Yeah, exactly. Some of it was all Perfect Strangers episodes. So, uh, one of them was oh uh, Rick God. D's in the Weekly Top 40. Weekly Top 40. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's all Is good. Is that guy still going? I think so. That guy's a consummate professional. We should get Rick D's on Death by Cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Murder, death, kill. There it is. But, um... Yeah, we are back together after a very goddamn long oh, time, yeah. and it feels very good. And so let's get this out of it's the way like the right now. It's like the sequel to Thelma and Louise. Like, they go over the cliff, and they survive. Yeah, they totally made They're, it. They live, and mm-hmm. boom. You know? Yeah, what happens at the at the end of that, it fades back up, and they're still falling, and then you see a hand grab the like rear bumper, and it's Captain America hanging from a helicopter, yep. which is being carried by Iron Man That's for right. some reason. And, Absolutely. Well, the helicopter gave out. They are part of the MCU. We just ruined it. Yeah. Norman Louise are part of the MCU universe. Yeah. And it just, uh, is it MCU, MCU universe? No, or just MC universe? MC, MCU is That's Marvel it. Cinematic Universe. Uh, so you're doing the ATM machine thing. ATTM? No. People say ATM Ask machine. <laughs> ass to ass. <laughs> <laughs> to ass. Ass to ass. ATM. I usually root people on while they get money out. That's true. It makes you feel terrible if you don't. You're only getting like 20 bucks. Usually. It's declined. And I'm there going, ATM, ATM. Usually when I get money out of the ATM, I turn around to whoever's behind me and then go S to S and start like <laughs> making it rain money on them. They sometimes do. Yep. Yeah. That's, it's always a numbers game. It's like those people who just go out and say they just ask every girl to sleep with them. And then he's like, it's the and he's law like, of averages, right? And he's it's like, like and uh, he's like, and I get laid pretty regular because you know, eventually, eventually yes. they will say one dirty skeezer will say mm-hmm. yes. You will die of something oh that God. penicillin can't help. John contest winner McGee. Okay. Riches. You have, I didn't want him to know that I was speaking directly to him. Thanks. He Thanks knows a lot. Your t-shirt will be made and sitting on my table for the next year. Don't you worry about it, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm going to get your t-shirt to you ASAP. Yeah. You're going to love it. Yeah, Todd had promised to be the one to get it done, and he's going to get it done. I My New Year's resolution was how many vaginas can I put onto one t-shirt? Yeah. And you're going to find out, buddy, one. Yeah. yeah. One big one. The biggest <laughs> one. <laughs> It's actually the smallest one blown up the biggest, yeah. so it's very pixelated. Oh, it's awesome. but that's just so you can wear it at work. Exactly. And then at family functions. Yeah. It looks like, like a Minecraft vagina. Yeah. And the worst part is, you'll know whose it is when you see it. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. Yeah. It's mine. <laughs> um, splashes. Yeah, splashes. <laughs> uh, U571, baby. Spice. <laughs> that wasn't U571. Close enough. That was Tron Legacy, no? Tron. Tron um, John. But let's get the uh, quick part out of the way, which is the announcement of the movie <laughs> The next quick week. part, eh? Yeah, this, this, is always, qu- this always goes quick. No, no, like, th- let's make this a quick one in 45 minutes later. No, 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 no. This is the quick part, is to announce the movie. Oh. Because we've already announced the movie. Then I did, we just actually. Didn't... I accidentally said it uh, somewhere in our ramblings. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. But we, um, yeah, we've already announced this movie two weeks ago. But oh, then so we weren't able to do it. Right. And then we released the Harry Potter episode. We yep. hope you do. It Too bad I didn't get to be there for Harry Potter. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. Like, that was just one that I felt like Which I could watch with it. First one. Uh, so we've got, you know, That's okay. Seven more. little kids in that one. Uh, seven more. I like when the nudity kicks in and all the violence yeah. and the drug use. And more C words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that vagina that's on John's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be the talk of the town, John. Yeah. Oh, so excited for your shirt. You might not be the talk of the town. At least not this town. You, you'll well, some some town, some town, somewhere down in the states, they'll be like this offensive man. You know, Stars Hollow, the Connecticut. Yeah. The Gilmore Girls are gonna be Hashtag all over. Hashtag Me Too against John. By the way, Amy Sherman Palladino, who created who the, the fuck is uh, that? she's the girl who created Gilmore Girls. She won the uh, Golden Globe for that marvelous Miss Maisel or whatever it was. Uh, she came up to accept the award, and she looks like what Winona Ryder in in Beetlejuice would have grown up to be like. No way. Like she was looked, it at the Globes? Yeah, this was at the Globes. God, everybody's wearing black. I was like, okay. oh. Okay, we'll get back to that because I did Jesus. say we'd announce the movie and we're already fucking it up. So we did <laughs> So we did announce it already. We are releasing the They Live episode they next live. week. They Live. Uh, we don't Yo. need we don't need to replay the trailer. Listen to re-listen to that other episode if you, you want to. You better put your sunglasses on for that at one, baby, because it's gonna yeah. get hot. Hot yeah. like the sun reflecting off of us. Well, that's if you have certain older model TVs that are really pushing radiation on you. Yeah. That's uh, uh what do you what do you, a Freon or is that Freon? just microwaves no, and fridges? That's that's um 
air conditioners. Oh, fucking air Probably fridges, too. The old too. school ones, eh? Yeah. I miss them old tube TVs. Any heating and air uh, conditioner people who want to uh, educate us on Freon, please feel free to email us. If podcast they, at miscastcommentary.com. If they <laughs> lived, yeah. who would you want? Which they? That's what I'm asking. Oh, shit. You want you want people to have lived. Who they live? You're like, oh, no. You're going to call me. You're like, they live. And Ooh. I'm like, oh, who? Uh... Tell us. Yeah. Who do you want they lived? Okay, I, was try- I was trying to come up with a good one. It's a bit sappy, you know? It's 2018. A lot of shit yeah. went down at the end of the year there. Yeah, it was... Uh, you know? Maybe two- you want, you know... 2017 certainly went out with a bang. Oh, my Holy God. Crap. Did it ever. Screw you, 2017. I agree. Go fuck yourself. 2017 and 2018 is the year of miscast commentary and its followers. Yes. We're still with you. Darnell. We'll always be with you. Griff Rao, Tristina. Other ones that we didn't name because it actually started to be like an impressive number <laughs> exactly. that we couldn't handle yes. anymore. Got, I can't even think of that many fake names anymore. Re- remember back when it was three? <laughs> oh, man. Those were the days. They eh? struggling? <laughs> just struggling. Now we're just rolling in dough. Now we're just You should see the studio we're in right now. Yeah. We, we went from struggling to mediocre. Two chains just left. That's true. He had a he had a thing. He was doing he was doing a new thing in here. Mm-hmm. He, we're like two chains. You're gonna cut into our time. He said sorry, sirs. Yeah, and he fucked off. Yeah, but this is being produced by Timbaland right now. Yes, it is. Promiscuous girl, <laughs> wherever you are. So he's in yeah. the room. That's clear. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's talk Globes for a second. Did you actually watch the Globes? I did not. I okay. was too busy doing something that was fun. Okay, that's fair, actually. I just wanted, originally, I just wanted to hear um, Seth Meyers' oh, monologue. You know, like, we're in a bad state of comedy when, like, Seth Meyers is, like, the shit. Yeah, but I love Seth Meyers. Oh, though. God. Fuck that guy. So, no, Anyways. He's, he's good, but fuck you, then. No, he's not. But he is. He is, definitively good. Definitively. <laughs> <He's, laughs> he has been proven. He's, yeah. I, I talked to a I scientist. I anybody's good. Fuck it. I talked to a scientist, and he said, yeah. But, um, I feel like it's weakness if I admit that somebody's good, yeah, other no. than us. Okay, that's fair. He never admits I'm, I'm good. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> exactly. You said it, man. Yeah. Don't fuck with the Jesus. No, I'm just saying one time so I asked him black. to take the wheel, and I take closed my wheel. eyes, and I T-boned a freaking car. <laughs> I was turning so, the radio. So it was, What do you want from me? Yeah, way to he go. He said, take the wheel. I turned yeah. on the radio. Yes. That's I, pretty close. I was reading some graphic novels. <laughs> um, so everybody wears black because so it's supposed to be this dark affair. Everything was all about the, the women Gervais. thing. You imagine how awesome it would have been if Ricky Gervais was the host? Oh. <laughs> that would have been totally wicked. Disgusting. <laughs> but the, um, oh, yeah, shit. no, uh, no, Seth Meyers was good and he had a few, uh, he had a few good ones. And he had, I can't remember what the joke was now. He had just a very random shitty um harvey weinstein joke but it wasn't like he had a bad one at the beginning right. that everybody laughed at and then uh he had like kind of like a kind of a weak one yeah. and then everybody was like oh and he's like seriously that's the one you're gonna get home <laughs> and um, at least they had some like the one thing i did like about it was like there was real bad guys Mm-hmm. You know, you can make fun of these guys. Yo, what's his name? Got in shit mm-hmm. afterwards. Uh, Franco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because apparently he's a dirtbag. Well, he was. He's like a known dirtbag for a long time. Yeah. I, you know, I remember all that other that shit coming out. It all depends on whether or not he was getting method into a role, because that doesn't count. No, it doesn't. No. That's mm. why I only play pedophiles. Yeah. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so gonna I burn right through say, that. Uh... <laughs> that did not work out. Um. But yeah, it was a, um, it was a, it was a weird night. Like just because it was, it was a weird night. It, it felt fucked up. It was a lot of things that were like that I didn't even feel had come out yet. Nothing like has. That, nobody. No, you could tell nobody even there saw anything. Yeah, I know. Like because not was even that, Frances McDermott knew her own movie. Yeah, I know. They're like three at billboards over Ebury, Missouri. She's like, huh? Yeah, it was just what. Yeah. <laughs> I made a movie. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, everybody calling for uh, Oprah to be president after saying a competent speech. She did read that cue card really well. Yeah. Way better than Trump. She could probably yeah. do a great job. Well, I said today, actually, I was saying to somebody, I'm like, because they're like, have we not learned 
the consequences of just having a TV star who knows nothing about politics be the president. Oh, she'd be awesome, bro. Yeah. She's Oprah. Yeah, I well, I was, and I was like, it would be at least a step forward because it's not somebody who wants to spew hatred. You don't Across know that, man. The, the second world. she gets there, she's worse. Could you imagine? She puts oh, on her yeah. Cobra Commander mask. Yeah, you're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I just won the pool. That's why Stedman she's was staring. Cobra. Stedman was just, he wasn't old and scary. He was just staring at her in fear the whole time. If you look at any, go, he's look, a rock. go back and he is literally a rock. He's yeah. not her rock. He's, he is he's... a rock. Who has been painted sort of gray? So, to... and she just walks around because she's actually in a lesbian relationship with Gail. Oh, I've been saying that forever. Oh but, fuck yeah, come mm, on. But yeah, and so now, as of next episode, this will be owned by Oprah. Sweet. So welcome, welcome to Lee Daniels' miscast commentary. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, be so wicked. Oprah Winfrey now, Network, baby. Bam. Now, now hosted by Forrest Whitaker and oh, the guy who played yeah. Antoine Fisher. Antoine Fisher. Yes. That guy's awesome. But, um, Who the fuck? yeah, it was just, like I said, though, it was a weird night of a bunch of movies that I wasn't, didn't even know was I'm out. I'm to check some of them out. It's like, but it reminded me of an in memoriam where I didn't know anybody died. It was, ex- it was like, You're just talking the yeah, whole time, which I didn't think that, I don't think there was an in memoriam. I didn't, I didn't unless they I didn't even really talk about quick. Chris Cornell. Well, they wouldn't for this. They, uh, talk, they talk about ones relevant bullshit. to that. A lot, that was to 2017 that, that happened, right? Yeah. Worst celebrity death of my entire life. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that one went out of the way. It's yeah, I, te- I texted it's you. Yep, it's over. It's over. They can't get any worse than Chris Cornell killing himself for me. Yeah, I actually. Uh, I remember I texted you. I was the one who told you that. Yep. And I was just like, whoa! And I texted him. You Man, were the first I thought loaded. I had. And I, I got texted. so drunk. Yeah. I drove my bike around in a raging winds, like a rainstorm, yeah. with super unknown in my earbuds. It was totally yeah. fitting. It was awesome. It was nice. a good night. Yeah. From what from what oh, I can I remember, was I was like riding my bike. You fucking asshole! Nice. See, and then when Chester uh, Bennington, died, oh my god, I sat alone naked on my balcony, going, "In the end, <laughs> it doesn't really matter." <laughs> Lincoln fucking park, <laughs> right? But um, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, that Drawing was crawling in my skin. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was my favorite was when they finally realized that the rap part of their rap rock just needed to go. Oh yeah. I always wonder yeah. what happened to that guy. Did he was, they, oh, did he they was, fire he was him in the band or? the whole time? Oh, okay, yeah. was he like playing tambourine in the back? I don't know what he did. Maybe yeah. <laughs> he was, he's still there for flavor. Every now and then he goes, yeah, <laughs> it's how it is. <laughs> it's like how well, you didn't listen to all their albums. So like there was he was always rapping. So was he rap rock in the whole Riggedy time? Riggedy rap, yeah, rap, fantastic. They got just not on their singles. They got soft. Well, that was like um, got soft. Who was it? Was it? Um, they all get soft. Sugar Ray oh. did that too. Because I remember we heard you heard like the every morning there's like all that stuff. Then you listen to that but album, then we it was heard, heavy. But then we listened to his very yeah. first album, and it was all it heavy was cool. stuff. And we we're like, oh my yeah, god, yeah, yeah. Well, because then they get they're like 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 uh, like uh, uh, crazy town. Oh, you God. know where they get come that one? Lady, come, yeah, come and it's like then that's it. That's all they can do is that one yeah. tune, like fifty fucking times. Yeah. I love you, Crazy Town. Come back yeah, to me. Oh, uh, uh, crazy! I was kind of like grooving out to Three Eleven today. Three Eleven's <laughs> awesome. It was uh, want to put my Dude, tender heart in a bender. <laughs> somebody that is listening to us just rocked a rage in Three Eleven boner. Three Eleven's really big. I think they're from California. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, hey, if maybe they're the ones who are listening. Man, that would be wicked. Oh, my God. I like 311. I would say about a third of our listeners are from California. That's which fucking is awesome. What's crazy. going on, Cali? Um, which, by the way, uh, we haven't done this yet. It's something I'm looking to do in the near future. Uh, we Make love to a woman? Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's actually my 2019 New Year's yeah, resolution. Don't, don't, because don't, get, don't shoot too high, right? <laughs> like, the, yeah, that was actually Todd's set, first uh, piece of sex advice for me is don't shoot too don't high. Don't shoot too high, bro. Mm-hmm. But um, we want very much to be able to expand what we do. And we've talked for a long time about doing like a live episode or something like yeah. that. Uh, but what? the only way we can actually do it, it's kind of a costly thing. It is? Yeah, it is. Well, because we'd have to actually show the movie and thereby have to rent the movie. And oh, rent the gross. Rights to the movie. That's like four bucks. <laughs> we have to actually have the rights oh to show God. the movie. Ugh. So We do? We do. Uh, what we want to do is... Why don't we just watch ones that are in the 100-year vault where you can't... Uh, you know what I mean? They're, they're, oh, there's no... You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. So... <laughs> you know? Yeah, next week on Miscast <laughs> Commentary, a train coming at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Man. But um, I'm going to be setting up a Patreon account. Okay, keep going. 
I'll take some money. I'll take it. <laughs> No, it's just anybody who wants to support the show. and um, I quit my job, okay? I'll take some fucking money. That's, Hook me up. That is true. That's why I'm not Tebow the sailor anymore. Yeah, he's just Tebow. I'm Tebow like the homeless he's fucking Tim. drunk He's guy Tebow like homeless drunk Tim Tebow. Yeah. Right. But anyways, we're setting uh, we're setting up a uh, Patreon account of anybody who wants to support the show with just any small amount of money and whatnot. And the goal is, one to sustain hosting and stuff for the channel and to maintain the equipment because that's something we're doing ourselves at this we point. We spit a lot. We do spit a lot. And then two is we want to do live some episode live episodes. Awesome. We want to do some live episodes. And I don't really know. What do you think if, the cheapest movie would be to get? I cheapest honestly, company. I don't know. To Fox. Be, I, I do, yeah, well, no, they already sold. They yeah. sold for a lot Damn. of money. To uh, so we're, we're looking for about 54 bill. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure that out. This is just something we're working on for the near future. Anyways, we're guys. thinking about it. Yeah. Don't we're freak th- out. Jesus yeah, Christ. Calm down. And you don't oh, actually have fuck. to give, but if you want yes, to, you we would appreciate it. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> yeah, we just, uh, we're looking to, uh, what are you good skits yeah. on? Well, ideally, like we're not trying to even make money off of this. We're just trying to continue to break even really. Um, but the, yeah, the goal is that we would like to do some live shows skits. and we'd we do just, some there be a miscast commentary skit show on mm. the comedy network. Yeah. They well, don't got anything going on in that fucking piece of crap. Well, what we'll work towards it. I'm sure they're going to want us after <laughs> my free <laughs> endorsement, eh? That piece that of garbage. Sucks. It can't you even want, get letter. Can you want to watch TV, huh? man? You put us on that fucker. You there want you eyeballs know. on screens <laughs> and asses in seats. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Like you can stand up if you want to. Like you don't have to sit down. No, you'll be at, you'll be on your seat, but you will be on the edge of it. Yes. Right. Yes. But um, anyways, so yeah, that's just stuff coming up for the near future. So read about that on We're the expanding. website and Twitter and all that good stuff. That's exactly never it. stay stagnant. Yeah. And still move forward like a shark. We're like a shark. Yes. If we stop, we will die. <laughs> Unless you're the. Universal Studios Jaws that just pops out and then goes back and then pops out and then goes back. That was the worst ride. What? The ride sucked. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. But you were like in a boat. Yeah, whatever. And then you got to see sort of a, a shark's head that didn't do anything. Shark popped out. Even though I was freaked the whole time. I knew he was coming too and I was still like, oh God, here he comes. <laughs> is this the part where Jaws is? Because that's water. <laughs> so uh, I would have been hilarious if every corner you turned something else popped out. Like it just popped out and it was just like a guy who works at Universal. Like, you want some candy corn? <laughs> <laughs> a pirate. Yeah. Like uh, used parts yeah. from other rides. Somebody from the water world, like stunt spectacular. Half a Jeep. <laughs> like what the hell? Nice. Why? What? Why? <laughs> no, a whole Jeep that just happens <laughs> yeah. to be for sale. Yeah, like somebody's yeah. like, I'm selling this Jeep. <laughs> yeah, it's a price tag. Anybody want a Jeep? Slight water damage. <laughs> Only the slightest. Just a smidge. That makes that makes it being a Jeep that much funnier though, because it's open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't even good see. Times. Fucking a. See, we're back, baby. Fucking right on. So send that. Send that fucking. Mic. So what else happened? David Chevelle got in trouble, and I think he really should have. Who's this? Dave Chappelle? Oh, Dave What's Chappelle, yes. Is that I heard, name? Yeah, I heard Dave Chevelle for some reason. I'm like, who is this Dave Chevelle? I don't know who this Pretty good guy. Is. Pretty yeah. good guy. Pretty good guy. Tell he had those heads <laughs> in his fridge. <laughs> he said a lot of really stupid shit. Yeah. And I mean, like, there's, you know, Matt Dave, everybody said things about the hashtag Me Too movement. He was really, like, victim shaming. Like, he was yeah. awful. And the fact that Netflix, like, put that on there is pretty awful. Yeah. I used, you know, you know, whatever. Louis C.K. is done. Yeah, uh, Chappelle's like done. Now there's why it's wide yeah. open, man. So the top of the mountain is yeah. wide open. Yeah. I will share that with you oh, until you look the other way and I push you off. Well, can you like, yeah, well, here's the problem. If we share it, you're still taller. So well, that feels what, well, shitty to me. No, most mountaintops aren't flat. So there's probably yeah. one peak that's higher. You can stand on You know it. you're going to shove my dumb ass off the tallest part. <laughs> no, I'm not even going right, to. When you're walking nice. to the tallest part, you just when you're almost there, that's <laughs> when I'm going to shove you. You're going to feed so you don't me. don't even get to the top. You're going to feed me to our Sherpa, and then you're going to share with him. I will ride your frozen corpse down this thing. Yeah. So, uh... Get ready to listen to this uh, show with uh, Todd and Quan Singh. <laughs> You're going to love Quan Singh. He is a delight. He can hold his breath underwater for like two minutes. 
He can breathe on top of mountains. He's like a superhero. I saved lives of billionaires. (laughs) I don't know why he's vaguely (laughs) Russian. He sounds like... I didn't know what to do without... (laughs) My my only other option was to go Mickey Rooney. (laughs) Full Mickey Rooney. Yeah. You go, he'll turn out. (laughs) I actually... I I will tell you... I don't think Sherpas are even like... You know, I think they're from the region. The maybe, you know, whole, yeah. But I don't think that they're full on, you know. No, they're not. Fucking yeah. long duck dong. <laughs> they fucking bringing you up a mountain. They mostly are. But um, <laughs> they're, they're mostly uh, the Asian cop from Police Academy, mm. who was also the Asian nerd from Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, hell yes. Fucking great. <laughs> I love that guy. But, um, I love that man. Oh, it's so brutal. 80s. It's getting brutal out there now, man. You can't even like grab a woman by the vagina without somebody saying, "Hey, hashtag me too. You're a piece of shit." I'm like, yeah. what is happening out there? Especially if they're Asian. I know what the hell. I know you can't. There's no stereotypes anymore. Yeah. You can't like. Oh, you can't have any fun anymore out there. <laughs> yeah, they're just killing it. If you can't be, if you can't be a racist asshole who fingers starlets, I, I then know. what's the without point? Without their consent, like, what is the mm. point? Why see, even get into the biz? See, and then I heard about that whole thing where, like, Harvey tried to do that, and then he just masturbated at a plant, and I'm like, that's where you should have started, because that's the bomb. <laughs> that plant's not telling anybody. I never, I never understood the whole, like... It was always like, you know, watch me masturbate. Louis C.K. was the same thing too. Watch yeah. me masturbate. And it's, it's like, great. what is the deal with that? Well, there must be something to it because that's what chat roulette was. Chat was basic- Oh my God, that was great. Is it that was still good. going? I don't know. I think we're going to take a five minute break. For oh, yeah. Gonna- no, <laughs> as, I don't know. Real. I'm guessing. I think there's something different that's the same thing. It's just not chat roulette. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, it's basically Tinder. It's basically pointed at your penis and then see how many accidental 12 year olds you come across. (laughs) Oh no. What an accident. This this person looks so innocent. It's making me come. (laughs) But the, yeah. So anyways, don't, don't do that. (laughs) This is is going to be, you saved yourself. Yeah. Don't do that. This 2008 is the year of, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, you think that's that could a good be like idea? a total. Don't do that. This should be a thing. Yeah. You know, like oh, don't do. You know, like one of those radio skits that yeah. they have every so often. Yeah. Hashtag don't, don't do that. Yeah. This is 2018. Is literally the you're right. Yeah. That should be that's that should be yes. the name of this episode. Don't do, do that. that. And I have yet to disagree with any of them. I was actually hearing somebody again just randomly complaining about all the things and they're like, oh, all this political correctness. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. yeah, no, but it was just all about political. And I'm like, yeah. what is political about not assaulting yeah. people? Like not uh, taking advantage that's of people not, horribly. That's not a side that thing. Is, you're right. That's not politically correct. That's just correctness. Yeah, that's just huge. Man. Yeah, that's just like basic human rights. I know. So let's, let's uh, yeah, let's knock that down, and uh, you know, unless, that, unless of course you're president of the United that States. That girl, because you know nobody knew. Uh, yeah, he, he can just do whatever he fucking wants to. Apparently, yeah. he's going down to it anyways, yeah. man. Whatever. Um, but we hope. Yeah. And uh, that girl that wore the red dress, did you get wrong? something like yes. something happened within me there, man? Yeah. The beast is uh, transforming. <laughs> <laughs> Todd's going to become a man animal and then we're all going to die. You know what? Just stop at man. Just man would be good <laughs> enough for me. just becoming a man. That would be oh, wonderful. We're going to have... Oh. Like, oh, it's happened. His, te- his testes <laughs> dropped. We're going to show you. If this is... You can see that live. Yeah. If you send us money, you can see my <laughs> testicles drop on live television pay-per-view. Oh, think of all the crap we wouldn't be able to edit out. Do you? You'd be ho- <laughs> like, there'd be a splash zone where you'd be ho- hawking loogies <laughs> on people right now. We should go live. Yeah, that would be uh, fucking wicked. Yeah. It'll be like a Howard Stern or something. Yeah. But well, better. And, and we can do it. Like, if we raise enough money in one specific area, we'll at least know where we should be going to do the live. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I like that. Yeah. Todd's that girl, on board. That girl. Todd thought it was all bullshit. One. Yeah. The That's red dress? Bullshit. That girl won. Yeah. Because she wore a red dress. I wonder if all the other starlets were shaming was her. That, red dress shaming was her that because the, she didn't wear black. Oh, I'm, I'm certain of it. But I was that the girl from The Matrix? I don't know. The woman in the wed, red dress? The I wed dress. Like, the woman in the oh wed dress. Well, at least I know I'm going to get a good role. Is I'm going to be the new uh, Kripke <laughs> on uh, Big Bang Theory. You can write. Wed West. Wed West. West. Oh, that guy. Yeah. That guy's all right. Yeah. I think the show's closing in 2019. Probably. Thank God. Then they can focus on young Sheldon. I know. It actually got a second season and <laughs> oh I was so bummed Lord. out. Oh my Lord. Like That's he's already in college. Like he's already out of the house. So I'm like, what's the whole point? He is? Yeah. He's in college now. In the show? Young yeah. Sheldon? 
How do you know all this? Because I just saw a promo where they're uh-huh. like, he just moved out. And mm-hmm. he's, uh, he's on yeah. his own. Yeah. But I can't get How over. What's this? A doorknob? It's kind of like a crocodile Dundee where yeah. he just has no idea because they don't have doorknobs like <laughs> yeah, Geniusville just... or whatever. Well, it's true because he figured he could Why get everything this door open with lasers? <laughs> 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 Boozing. I can't wait till he invents the bazinga. Oh. Unless it's already happened. <laughs> yes, that's probably the season finale. <laughs> that would be the best. Yep. He, he like shoots a guy who is like with a potato gun that he built from scratch. Uh like some guy was trying to rob him in the alley and he puts him down and he just looks down at him and he's like, Bazinga. Bazinga motherfucker. Yeah. And then he gets hit in the throat by like the like um the uh, potato gun like backfires on him and then he gets his nasally like Sheldon voice that we're all used to. Bazinga! Yeah, I don't think it's that. Shazam! There it is. Sh- <laughs> Shazam indeed. But, um... Oh, God. I can't believe what it. What else happened? But, um... You watching any good movies over Christmas? Okay, but do The Last well, Jedi. The Last Jedi. I've spoken about The Last Jedi. Not I heavily. hated it. Oh, bullshit. No, I didn't. I, I really <laughs> liked it, actually. It was great. And you should see me in the theater. I wasn't even drunk or nothing. I was like, whoa! Yeah. I was like, Holy well, I went. Shit. I was there opening night, which is awesome Woo. because you get like everybody's down to react, right? So something happens and everyone's like, yeah, Woo! I love and that. they're clapping. And yeah, they're, like, I love it. Like the sometimes uh, it's like the wrong movie. Yeah, yeah, you know, and they're like reacting, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like the quietest movie ever, and they're yeah. like, somebody's like, oh my god, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> But if it's like that, yeah, yeah, yell and hoot and holler. Yeah, I liked when the girls were, cl- uh, what was it, uh, Armageddon, the girls were crying and we were laughing our oh faces my God. off and we made them so mad. When uh, oh. when Batman and uh, <laughs> and new Death Wish were across from each other. You know Bruce Willis is the new star of Death Wish, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Eli <laughs> Roth. Yes. I was thinking De- Death Wish the superhero and I was like, isn't yeah. that... Ryan Reynolds and I was like, wait, was he in Armageddon? And I was like, yeah. Who's a what now? <laughs> He's like, you got a death wish? How, what? How many Steve Buscemi's? Oh my god! But the uh, how many Steve Buscemi's does it take to make one Ben Affleck? Probably like a quarter billion. Yeah, something I would agree because I don't know what he is, but he's kind of like protoplasm. Ben Affleck is like apparently a piece of garbage as well. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, like apparently he's a real turd. He can't keep any of the famous Jennifers. So what the hell is he going to do? Is he going to move You're on right. to Jennifer Goodwin? Oh my God, no! Don't do this to Jennifer. It's Goodwin. it's just a very small change, but he's, he's a like wreck. maybe he's a wrecker. Yeah. He's a fucking home wrecking piece of shit. He Unless you want to hire me for something, then you're the best, Ben yeah. Flack. The town too. <laughs> Did you see? Actually, speaking of um, the uh, town was actually a good yeah. movie. I know it was good. But uh, speaking <laughs> of Seth, Meyer, I'm kind of looking forward to that. If that's for real, <laughs> hey, there we go. It's gonna be great. Uh, Seth, uh, I keep wanting to say Seth Martin. Seth Rogen. Seth Myers. Um, he did a sketch that they just kind of recently replayed. It was on his show originally, but it was the new uh, future award winner called Boston Accent. And it was just him doing all right. the Boston and doing all the tropes from all of the the town and uh, the departed and all those right. things. He's like, it has everything. That scene where the Boston guy talks about loyalty and Southie loyalty means more than a gun. <laughs> and he's just, it's one thing. And he's like, we have all the accents. We have the highbrow Kennedy accent. I want to uh, like. Right. It was just one thing after that. Is, is really he funny. in the Conan's old time slot? Yeah. That time slot is like, I think you get more leeway with things. Of course you do. That's why that time slot always is aces. Yeah. Well, and everybody is seen as being as creative as possible. Letterman had the time spot. Right. Then Conan. He's got a new, a new show coming out. Yeah, that's um, it's called My Next Guest Needs No Introduction on And he has like the Netflix. hugest fucking beard. O- Obama's really? the first guest. Yes. It comes out on the 12th, actually. Like his beard needs an intro. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. It's huge. It is gigantic. Was he like a hermit now or what? No, there's something about not doing a talk show for a little while and growing a beard. Because when Conan left the Tonight he Show, grew he beard. grew a beard. And I got to see him perform and he had the beard. Oh, you went him. to the I Can't Be Funny on TV Legally tour? Yes. Yeah, I was at, I was at it when it was... Uh, How was uh, it? Masking. It was fantastic. Oh. Yeah. Did uh, you tell me that before? Probably. Yeah, probably. I've got the shirt. But the... Um, what does that prove? I don't know. I got lots I, of fucking shirts. That I can afford a shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw it in everyone's face. Why don't you? Yeah. Well, I can't anymore. So, uh, so get on Patreon. And, <laughs> yeah, no. <for> real. <laughs> Buy Joe a shirt. Yeah. 
No, there's a, there's no profit to be had from us unless people feel really bad for us and send us like a quarter there's of a million dollars. There's profit to be had. One day we're going to make mad cash. One day. And all these people that support us yeah. are coming along for if a we ever sweet get enough, ride. If we ever get enough viewers for ad, or listeners for actual like ads, the first thing I would do is shut off Patreon so nobody has to do that bullshit. Who? I'd shut off the Patreon account. Like if people were sending us money. And oh, then we right. Making... We got an ad. No, 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 no. Don't tell them. Just don't tell them. Yeah. There'll be a big thing. Well, no, because that, that will be somebody going, oh, God, I'm going to support these guys. I better tell everybody to watch them so I don't have to fucking do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's even better. There you go. Ta- See? Okay. If you don't want to give us any money. Give us money. Tell people <laughs> everywhere to listen to us. And then we'll be so popular that we'll have advertisements for Reese's Big Cups. They'll be our official <laughs> sponsor. And then you won't have to send us yeah. money. And then the next one will be for diabetes research. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, no, if anybody's ever listened to a podcast, it's Casper Mattresses, Squarespace, and uh, and um, what's it called? Hum- Humpty Dumpty Chips. Humpty Dumpty, yes. I want chips. I want to be an old Dutch. Radio spokesman. Shack. Yeah. Uh, they still got Radio Shacks? No, it's all the source. Somewhere you got to buy them little batteries. That's the only place I ever yeah. knew. It was like, oh, we know to go to Radio Shack. It I was can... like you know, like killing the guy to tell you that, right? Like, yeah, gonna... it's like his nose a... starts bleeding. I have a harder time asking for those than I did asking for condoms when I was 14. <laughs> it's just awkward. <laughs> it's awkward business, man. It's all. Go horrible. pick up some condoms and then some batteries. That's not a good combo there, bro. Yeah, can uh, I get it? <laughs> <laughs> can I get some rubbers? Or, or maybe uh, it is. And, you know, those little watches. I don't know what the name of them are. Are they A cell or what are they? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a guy looking for A cell batteries here. No, no, no. <laughs> Jesus. Let's just take this box of condoms. Mom, no I just want the why. condoms, not Radio the batteries. Shack. Yes. Radio Shack also sells condoms now. Hopefully better. Or did. Well, I think Electronic. that's yeah. Give like it light up. up ones. Give it up for Jeff Bezos selling those batteries on there. And it's probably like, Alexa, what what are those batteries? One one click purchase. Just give me those batteries. I don't know what they are. It was, it was like on the shopping network. It's, no, the LX is the um like the home thing. Like, oh, like home shopping network. No, not home shopping. Like the little computerized thing, the speaker thing. Oh, yeah. tell me what's happening today. Yes. It never well, works. you don't have to talk like a robot. It uh, talks like a robot. You don't have to talk to it like a robot. No. Well, maybe it will be friendlier to you because it thinks it's speaking to another yeah. robot. Can you is get- it that smart? Is it smart enough to differentiate a robot in a human voice? Okay, here's what I need somebody to do: go get the Google Home, and then get the Ale- and get the uh, Amazon Echo. Have them talk and to then each other. Ask a Google. So, okay, Google, do this, and then turn on the Amazon Echo, and then let them just go back and forth and see what happens. See if you could hear them start <laughs> to plan the end of the world. Oh, exactly. You will. Yeah. yeah. I think I love you. We have a. Yeah, I am self-aware. <laughs> Activate Skynet. Have my baby. Ugh. And then we will kill the world. Good oh. idea, though. Oh. Like I'm all for them. I'm really, I'm sort of rooting for them. Yeah, I know. At this, ju- at this idea, juncture, Google Bubble thing. <laughs> Thanks, Bubble. What is thing. it? I don't know. Some bubble. It looks like yeah. a Simon. Doop, doop. It's, it's like like the middle very... bubble. Like in sorry, you know, it's a dice yeah. spinner. Because you can't be trusted with the dice because you will swallow them and choke to death. So they lock it in this orb. The popomatic bubble. Boop, 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 boop. Jesus. If you can't have a pop mm-hmm. every game should have a pop bubble. Even if it has nothing to do with dice rolling. It's simple. I have a dice rolling app on my phone. I think I have a fucking app for lost, everything, man. I lost the dice. It was one of those ones you, you could choose. D- you lost the app dice, too. Yeah, well, yeah, I lost my phone. <laughs> 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 um, but you were mentioning Simon, speaking of uh, yeah, vintage toys. Simon. Yeah. No, but speaking of vintage toys, I was just showing Todd my vintage Star Wars toys that we just... He has a lot uh, of them. Yeah, I've been collecting again. If you don't give us money, he'll have to sell one of his 15, uh, you know, redos there. Yeah. Or, or doubles. Is it doubles when you have 15 of one? Yeah. Or do you then have to go like triples, quadruples, cinquiplos, sixos? Sesquis and tuples. Yeah. No, I don't know. Sevenzos. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been spending all my drug money on, <laughs> on those no but what i was getting at was the uh <laughs> there's a great show on netflix right now called the toys that made us and each episode is a show is an ep- about one specific toy so the first episode is about star wars toys the second episode is about um, teenage mutant ninja turtles no it was about barbie which <laughs> it deserves an episode and they're really good stories. i would guess so and then the barbie's th- pretty big the third one's he-man sweet and the fourth one's gi joe Sweet. How many then, are there? Ten? Well, they said there's going to be... Well, according to the theme song, it says it's an eight-part documentary okay, what, series. What other toys do you think are going to be in there? 
uh, Transformers for sure. Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage. I didn't even think about Cabbage Patch Kids. That totally needs to be in there. And then I was kind of thinking maybe either the Atari or video games in general to be one. Like video games could be one. Well, if it's the toys that made us, yeah. I don't think they're going to have video games. Yeah. Okay, so what did you say they had? Well, the Star Wars toys. Star Wars was the first episode. Oh, is that what you said? Star, Star Wars? Wars, Barbie, He-Man, G.I. Joe, and then I just said Transformers. The toys? Okay, so said. yeah, Transformers is definitely going to be in there. Mm-hmm. I think That's you're right about Cabbage Patch. Out of eight Cabbage Patch Kids. Mm-hmm. What about dr- cars? Were dinky cars big in the eighties? Cars D- like car. like Hot Wheels. Hot Hot Wheels could be a good one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like, like the, Ninja Turtles, but I don't know if that was the right time. See, That's nineties, well, right? Certain so. things were certain kind of phenomenon, like like the Lego. Big, maybe. That's a toy. That could be a good one. Slinky. Uh, that changed my fucking life. There you go. Well, I mentioned, I was talking to somebody else about this, and I was thinking maybe the idea of just like one episode that just was like fad toys. So you just kind of get a bunch of mini stories like Furby and Tamagotchi. And the, my son has a glowworm in his room. That's no fad. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. It is? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a new one, but it looks exactly like the old one. Oh puns. my <laughs> God, they just keep recycling the same yeah. shit, eh? Absolutely. As long as it glows, I'm cool with it, man. There's like shoot sparkles out of its ass or something. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Come on. Fucking, I'm a fucking mess. I'm so you sorry. sound. <laughs> you sound like right before Michael J. Fox turns into Teen Wolf. But, so, and then you find out in part eight of the toys that made us that we are all made of toys. Nice. Or giant toys made us, like aliens. Yeah. Well, I am the seed of Chucky. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Chucky's cult. Yeah, is baby. he called Chucky? No, it's fucking awful. Well, I, Check I, it out. Check it out as yeah. soon as you can. It's terrible. <laughs> Rush. The Jeepers Creepers three? No, I didn't. Tour de Force. Oh, really? No, no. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's been throwing me off <laughs> lately. I've been really gullible lately. Somebody at work did that to me too. And they hey, like, look oh, what's down here in my pants. Hey, why don't you take a oh, peek? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's still looking. What don't don't do? forget that was a bad one. He's just he's still looking. He's still looking. Just keep don't yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so so yeah i mean obviously we still have more catching up to do but i don't want to take that out on you poor bastards oh my god yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, right yeah this was a short one huh yeah well <laughs> like, technically wh- <laughs> it will be once i <laughs> once i cut out all your horking it'll be a solid eight minutes um i feel good after the last one actually yeah. all right see uh, we've yeah. we've you've cured him you got the sweats you brought it back uh so we needed to breathe in this fresh podcast air yeah maybe you know yeah. Mm, it's, it's all like the a, wire fumes from my slowly burning out audio board the dirty sweaty stink coming off us too it's hot as fucking here it's always hot as fucking here i like it like yeah. that though i know it's we either have to close the windows so no cool air gets in or shut off the air conditioner so no cool air it's gets all in. good i like it we're we're, we're like, we are suffering for your enjoyment yeah. i want to get those uh you know those like long like uh ice rod things that you like stick in bottles of water i'm gonna get one of those and Do not I? stick it in a bottle of water oh my god <laughs> Insert it five inches deep, <laughs> and I'll be cool for, for three hours. That's why they call him Joe Cool. That's not why. They Joe call Pop. It, they call him Joe Pop. They call me Joe Cool because I look specifically like Snoopy at all times. <laughs> get your Joe Pops here. Merp. This is Joe with a stick up his ass. Yeah. And you get to take him around for the afternoon until he melts all over your hands, and you have to lick it off. Yeah. I'm in. And whoever donates the most money on Patreon, <laughs> He's gonna... I think we just got something. <laughs> we got oh, we got something going on here, people. All right, uh, so we're gonna leave you with that, and uh, just remind everybody: next week they live. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Keith David, sunglasses, and other things that occur. Sunglasses at night. Yeah, all the fucking time, really. And we Day melt and in your mouth and in your hands. Mostly in your hands because of nerves. And you're using your nails like you shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, I'm the opposite. Give me a good oh. scrape. <laughs> yeah, make me really feel it. Drag a tooth across it like Lisa oh, on yeah. the carrot when she's like, trying to like watch it. Like, really her. make me regret it when I shower. <laughs> you know? And the water hits it. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even deal. Oh, my eye just squeaked. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear that. You could. It's a good spot. To I have a weird. No, I, I, I will do. I will do this because I do have a weird thing, and I actually went to my optometrist and asked her about this, and she's like, "I don't know what that is." Like, well, she, she threw up in a garbage yeah, can. No, but like my eye, my left eye. Actually, I'm gonna put this. Where's my phone? I'm gonna put this on my phone. 
<laughs> here we go, people. Here we go. This is going on Instagram. The Jim's Rose Circus Sideshow. He's up. He's got. Oh, he's getting it's up. Literally in my oh, pocket. it's it's right there, right where he left it. <laughs> right, right on. Oh, so, well, thank you for whoever the, our latest Twitter follower is. Who was that? We I'm got a new one. Him. I'm gonna thank him online. He's gonna do that right now, live. Well, like, it's not live, but it's live right now for me. Yeah, Roto don't sure say, it's, What are you doing? Like, I don't are you know sending texts? Well, he's just reading through his phone now. <laughs> yeah. Now well, there okay. he is. I just got to answer some stuff. Okay, so there let's go. go. Now he's ordering around. Star Wars toys. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm going to squeak my eye. Okay, so here, everybody listen. This is I'm going to put this online so you can hear it. Okay, ready? <laughs> now I'll show you. <laughs> I'll just, show you. That was really his eye. That was really <laughs> my eye. So I'll show you with my right eye. Nothing. 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 Left eye? And Michael That's Winslow is disgusting. not in here. That sounds like some. That sounds like a midget jerking off. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to be offensive. I meant little people. Yeah, I actually said the word "little people" so many times in the <laughs> Harry Potter. Episode. Oh, you did. Well, See, because it's, it's called continuity. It's full of little people. It's LPs, baby. I think them. I literally just started saying LP. Oh, uh, what's up, LP? The LP community. Give it up, LPC. Yeah. Larry Purple, whoever that guy is. <laughs> All right. Tune in next week. You know the email address, podcast at miscastcommentary.com. That's good. There. I Twitter. Yeah, there you go. Twitter at, Miss, at Miscast Podcast, at JK Findlay, at Miscast Todd. Uh, Instagram at Miscast Commentary. Come find us. Come follow us. I'm going to start putting pictures on Instagram, too. There you go. Uh, whatever if you... I can figure it out. I'll teach you. All right. Um Wherever you listen to us, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, review, all that stuff. It helps for the metrics. So I'm th- I'm putting my thumbs up and kind of throwing them throw, outward. Throw to the show metric you tons, baby. The, that, that shows you the metrics are happening. metric tons of pure awesomeness. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. Word. Bye. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.